All right, Brush Monkeys, welcome back. This week we're starting in on Wolfgar. He is a, kind of a Viking character. And he is the latest in the Forgotten Realms Heroes box set. He's this guy here. And uh, again, as with the others, he's going to be mostly a lot of contrast paints. Um, so he's going to go by pretty fast. This is going to be a fairly short video. Um, on a personal note, uh, this is going to be the last Corn Tuesdays video. Um, as of the shooting of this video, I have not yet received my return to work orders. However, uh, coming up very soon, we're going to have some work done on the basement, which includes my work area. And I'm going to have to um, kind of shut down the painting. I'm not going to be, I'm still going to be able to post videos. And uh, a lot of those videos were shot way ahead of time, so that's not a big deal. However, new videos, I can't paint new videos or paint new miniatures and shoot new videos for a while. So that's going to have to be put on hold. Um, so yeah, this is going to be the last Quarren Tuesdays video. So the rest of the Forgotten Realms Heroes box set will be put in the regular rotation of videos. Um, hopefully, we'll all be out of lockdown by the time... The, uh, the basement's fixed. So, uh, so yeah, that's what's going on in my life. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut this off and pick out uh, Wolfgar's paints here, and then we'll get started. All right? See you soon. Bye. All right, Brush Monkeys, I'm back, and having consulted my plan here, I picked out his contrast paints. I've got both the... the uh, Wraithbone and the Gracier contrast bases out to touch up parts. Some parts, like a skin, I'm going to want warmer than others, obviously. Um, for the skin, I've got Goldman Flesh. For the armor and his weapon, I've got uh, Basilicatum Gray. For his hair, I've got Iand in Yellow. Snakebite Leather for his leather bits. Uh, con um, Apothecary White for this wolf skin on him and his pants. And then uh, wild wood for the handle of his axe and his, excuse me, hammer and his uh, base. And then for the base, we're also going to add some um, white flocking on that um, with a little bit of glue just to make it look like snow. Because he's kind of a Viking character. I want him to have a little bit of snow on his base. All right. All right. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, sh oh, um, before I forget it. Da -da 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 -da. Some Reaper muddy soil for the base band, which I think will go good with that wild wildwood. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. And, uh, Sylvanas bark dry, <laughs> and now I'm done. Now I've got all the paints I need. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and turn this off and get started painting. All right, see you guys soon. Bye. All right, brush monkeys. I've gotten the um, contrast paints parts of Wolfgar here done, and as you can see, it pr he's pretty close to being done. Uh, there's a couple little detail things. Um, I got out the uh, Sylvanas bark dry to do a little bit of dry brush on the base before I put the snow on there. I got the Balthazar gold and old gold here to do. Uh, the pommel and ring on his hammer and this uh, little band over the top of his helmet and I got out the uh, long beard gray to dry brush the wolf pelt because as usual the uh, apothecary white kind of dropped the ball on actually working the way it's supposed to it looks like a very pale gray but it's supposed to look like white and it doesn't um, so, uh, the base, as you can see, is still wet, so I'm going to take a break and let that finish drying. Um, one thing I wanted to point out that I think is kind of cool about these contrast paints is um, you can get different effects out of them just based on how many layers you put on there. For instance, the, the leather, the boots here, and his belt, and the, the scabbard and hilt of his knife here, were all done with snakebite leather. Now this fur he's wearing around his waist and on his back and the insides of his the wolf pelt here are also snake bite leather but that you see how that brown looks a little darker 
than this brown. This was one layer of snake bite leather on his belt. Get back in the light there. That's one layer of snake bite leather on the belt. That's two coats of snake bite leather on the fur, so it comes out a little bit darker. It's the exact same color, but you get a darker tone out of it just by putting on another coat. And I really like how that looks. And it helps it stand out from the belt and from the leg wraps while at the same time still being the same snake bite leather color. And I love that about these. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and let this dry. And then uh, when we come back, I'm going to dry brush the wolf pelt here with the Longbeard Gray and uh, probably do the Sylvanath Bark on the base, depending on whether or not that's dry. And then we'll do the gold on the gold parts. And this guy's going to be pretty close to being done. So I'm pretty happy with how he's turning out so far. I think uh, as per usual with a lot of these figures, the, these new school Citadel contrast paints are looking really good on these old school Valpartha and Grenadier figures. So I'm really happy with how this is turning out. So I'm going to go ahead and pause, take a break, and then I'll come back and wrap them up. Alright, see you soon. Bye. Alright, brush monkeys, we're back, and I've got the golds done. You can see I've got the Gold on his hammer, on his helm, on his belt and dagger there, done. I also dry brushed the wolf pelt, and it's looking quite a bit better. And I dry brushed the base, and it's looking pretty good too. So all of that having been done, so next is to glue the flock on. And I also have uh, some of these tundra tufts from the army painter. I'm going to glue one of those onto the base too. And... Um, I'm not sure if I've ever gone into how to do snow effects on this base. And there's a lot of different ways to do snow effects. But the way I'm going to do it here is probably the quickest and easiest way. Um, I'm going to just do it like any other kind of flocking and, and uh, tuft. So for starters, we're going to figure out where we want the tuft. And I think I'm going to put it like right about here. A little, little tuft right there. So a little bit of white glue on the base and then I'm just gonna tear off a little chunk these tufts aren't like separated out so there's not really any uh, big or small tufts on here like there are for a lot of other kinds of tufts so I'm just gonna kind of tear off that little chunk there and stick it right in the, stick it right on the glue there we go all right and that doesn't look like much now, but it's gonna it's gonna make a difference when we go to put the snow on there. It'll look like a plant sticking up out of the snow, which is what we're looking for. Now, as far as the rest of the snow, it's gonna get a little bit of the white glue here. I'm just gonna kind of dab it everywhere we want snow. So kind of, I'm not looking to completely cover the base with it, because otherwise, painting all that. Um, Painting the brown and painting the the dry brushing the brown on there would have been kind of pointless. But we do want kind of a lot of snow. So I'm just gonna do like half the base. Some around a little bit on this side for the tundra. Tuft here. Alright, so I got a fair amount of white glue on there. And then what I've got here. Is I got these little little tiny measuring spoons from a place called the Spice Merchant in Wichita, and it's got measurements like like tad, dash, pinch, um, come on, smidgen, and drop. And the drop one is the one we're going to be using. And I'm using Army Painter Battlefield's Snow Flock here. And open that up and using this little measuring spoon we're just going to scoop out a little bit of this stuff and just kind of pour it right onto the base everywhere we had the snow everywhere we had the glue rather and I'm, you notice I'm doing this over the container because a lot of the stuff's slopping out we're just going to tap that back into the container just like that 
and you can see this makes pretty nice vibrant snow effect on the base. And then you can see, now you've got the plant sticking up out of the snow, you got the snow all over the base, you can still see the dirt through some of the snow. Pull it off a little excess there, and we're just going to let that dry. And there you go. See? see a little bit where it... and you can brush some of it off with your finger too and you can see how that how that shows the dirt through you can see the dirt through some of the thinner portions you can see it where I've left it off the snow altogether around his other foot and there you go so yeah that came out pretty well I'm gonna go ahead and call this one done um, I'm going to let him sit for a little bit and let that dry, that glue dry, and then uh, next time you see this guy, he's going to be completely finished. So I'll mat seal him with the, uh, I'm going to use Army Painter Anti-Shine Spray, as I do with all my figures, and uh, we'll mat seal him, and then the next time you see this guy, he'll be completely finished. Alright, so I will see you soon. And there he is, Brush Monkey's Wolf Car is all finished. Um, I kind of forgot to mention the part about uh, painting the base band last time, so I went ahead and did that. I also painted a little bit on here just to break up the, the white just a little bit. And that was with the uh, Reaper Master Series Muddy Earth paint, is uh, what I used for the base band in that little mud there. But, uh,. I like how it came out. I think it looks pretty good. So that is Wolfgar from the uh, Valpartha Forgotten Realms Heroes box set from 1985. Um, so, and uh, that will wrap up the Quarren Tuesdays series. So thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next week at our regularly scheduled Flying Monkey Friday. Bye. Hey Brush Monkeys, Tom from Flying Monkey Studios here. If you like what you see, click like down below. Um, if you want to be notified when new videos come out, click subscribe. Both of those help me with my YouTube numbers and help support me doing and what, what I do best. Um, speaking of which, uh, if you want to support me more directly, you can visit my Patreon site um, and go on my Instagram page to see uh, all the miniatures that I paint on this site and how to get your hands on one of your own if you want one. We're also on Facebook and Twitter. You can check both of those to see when new videos get posted. And visit my merch store at uh, storefrontier.com slash flymonkeystudios. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you later. Bye.